a plane carrying 11 more Britons from Wuhan, the Chinese city, at the centre of the coronavirus outbreak, has landed at RAF Bryce Norton. Those on board are on their way to the Wirral in the northwest to begin two weeks in isolation. The first death from the virus has been confirmed outside China in the Philippines, and in all, more than 350 people have died. This report from John Sudworth in Beijing contains some images viewers may find distressing. <laughs> As a man sobs in a hospital ward, he's asked who's died. My father, comes the reply. Just outside, eight body bags are counted. And here, a patient films across the ward. These unverified images show a city and a health system overwhelmed. Ningxi Xu, visiting Wuhan from the US, says her sick relatives can't even get into hospital. The hospital staff just told them that they could not perform the tests. I don't, I think it's because of a capacity issue. So that suggests that it's, uh, from your experience, quite likely that the, the real picture of the infections could be much, much higher than the official figures suggest. I think so, just because a lot of people either choose not to go to the hospital uh, or they do want to uh, be officially tested, but they're not able to. This footage appears to show a body being removed, not from a hospital, but a home. Today, another 11 Britons were flown back home, arriving at RAF Bryce Norton and then taken to NHS accommodation on the Wirral for two weeks of quarantine. While China tries to show the world it is coping, building this hospital in just 10 days, it's becoming clear that more could have been done earlier. This doctor was one of the first to pick up signs of the new strange virus. But his online posts were censored and the police made him sign this confession along with seven others for spreading rumours. Just one month on, this giant economy has been brought to a standstill. Good public health care depends upon transparency and the timely release of information. Precisely the things that are lacking in a place so obsessed with political control. The streets of Beijing show the impact of a system that has helped turn a local crisis into a national emergency. And an international one too, this Philippines hospital, the first to record a death outside of China. John Sudworth, BBC News, Beijing.